I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Thank you for watching this program. This program is all about telling the truth in love. If you love somebody, you tell them the truth. If you don't love somebody, then you tell them what they want to hear. And that doesn't do them any good. Jesus always told the truth. You know, we've always said on this program, people don't have to like you, but they must respect you. St. Augustine lived in North Africa. He was an African, a place uh, which is now called Algeria. That's where he was born. When he was a young man, he was a playboy. He was a womanizer of note. He was a drunkard. And uh, he was extremely clever. So he had the gift of the gab. But St. Augustine met with Jesus Christ. And his life was totally transformed in an instant. And he is regarded today as one of the fathers of the Christian church. And I'm so proud that he's an African, because that's what I am. St. Augustine said, No saint without a past. No sinner without a future. I'll say that again. No saint without a past and no sinner without a future. What did he mean? I believe this is what he meant. A saint is somebody who's had a complete change in his life. A complete turnaround from a villain to a saint. Who can we think of? First off, St. Paul. That's right. He was on his way to Damascus. To do what? To, to arrest the Christians and to send them to death. He was the one who was carrying the cloaks, the clothes of the men that were stoning the first martyr in the New Testament, Stephen. It was him, Saul of Tarsus, who became Paul the Apostle, who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament from a villain to a saint. So what, what, uh, what did he say? He said, a saint is one who has a complete life change, like Paul. His character, his personality, his outlook. Angus, can you give us a scripture reference? Yes, I can. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That is the story of a saint. You see, to be a saint, you've got to have a past. And then what did Augustine say? He said, and no sinner without a future. What does he mean by that? Well, Francis of Assisi was a crusader. He went to Israel to supposedly defend the Christians. And he, they were not the angels we think they were. They killed all kinds of people. He came back absolutely devastated, disheartened. Dis he didn't want to even live. His father was an extremely wealthy businessman in Assisi, the town of Assisi. And then Francis of Assisi had a, a life change and he had a future all of a sudden. He started taking care of the poor and the needy, those who were physically handicapped. And he built up a church that was broken down. He had a future, a sinner who had a future. And that is exactly what we are talking about. No sinner without a future. Who else can you talk about, Angus? What about somebody like uh, John Newton? John Newton was the captain of a slave ship. I couldn't think of a worse thing. And he got saved and he became a preacher and a great hymn writer. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound in a believer's ear. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I can see. See, no sinner without a future and no saint without a past. May God bless you and keep going for Jesus. Goodbye.